opportunities to sponsor children. In fact, our household does. But there are so many kids in need right here in our own communities. God, help us take the blinders off. Let us see those kids in need of your love, of the things that we can do to share our faith in new and different ways. Lord, I just ask you that you bless us so that we can bless them because they will then be a blessing to others. Amen. As the guys uh, jump down, I want to tell you a little bit more about this. Uh, when, first of all, the festival at the fairgrounds is, is, is something that almost didn't happen, and we are so glad that it did, and it came together last minute. And I just want to say thank you to all the bands last night and today, tonight, that are coming together, helping out. Isaac's helping out on the sound. These guys have been helping out with switching cables and everything. So first of all, just thank you all just out there in the world to just say thank you. Make sure that you check these bands out. They are awesome. They play for God. It's real. When we put this thing together, I was putting out the agenda. I put out my message to the bands and said, hey, we're going to do this. Does anybody want to come in? And as I was filling things out, there was this little time slot. And I wrote, I saw a child. And I don't know why I write that. Well, I do. God told me to. And I thought, okay, now what am I going to do with that? The song's four minutes long. And I have a half an hour. And I thought, you know what? It's time to start talking about those kids that are right out there. In fact, when we were setting up yesterday and today, there were a bunch of kids out there playing. Are they hungry? Are they starving? Are they hungry for food, starving for food? Maybe they're hungry and starving for the Lord. We have got to go out there and show that we care because Jesus cared enough to die on the cross for us 
that we ought to do something about it. And if we can't do it for the least of these, then he ain't going to do it for us. Well, actually, he will because that's our God and he does those kinds of things. But we have got to go out there and reach these. Now, here's the really, really neat part. So I did this. I put this. I saw a child on here. I said, I'm going to talk about kids in our community. Then we got an email from a group called Hope in Marion. Hope in Marion is a group of churches that are coming together. A couple of years ago, they came together and they brought Nikki Cruz, who's an international speaker on drugs. Back in the 50s, he was one of the worst gang members in New York City. He killed people. He did bad, bad things. And a preacher said, I'm going to go to New York, and I'm going to find a gang member, and I'm going to bring him to Christ, and he's going to bring others to Christ. And guess what? That happened. The late David Wilkerson did that. And he brought Nikki Cruz to Christ, and now he has been going around for years and years and years, talking all over the world. He plays in huge, huge stadiums in big, big cities, and we got him to come to Marion, Ohio. Amen. And he came, and he talked. And you know what? They had street teams going around, and the drug dealers called the cops on the street teams. The drug dealers called the cops and said, get these people off of my sidewalk. They are a nuisance. What did that do? It let the cops know where the drug dealers live. Our drug problem, it's big in Marion. It's getting better, and it will continue to get better. So what we have to do is we have to grab those kids. We have to let them know that there's something better than the crack and the heroin that's out there. Jesus Christ is a drug that you can be high on all the time. So we have to find different ways to reach them. God has called us all to do something. He's called me to do some music. He called Dustin to preach. He called Harry the Cost and nothing left to play awesome music and get out there. What has God called you to do? Find a child. Find a child. Hope and Marion is going to be bringing churches together, and they want to raise an awareness. Check this out. Check this out. This is how God works. They want to raise awareness and get more families to become foster families and consider adoption in Marion County. Because out of all of the kids in Marion County who end up in foster care, what is it, about a third of them get to stay in the county? So two-thirds of our kids, our kids, our community has to go someplace else. So they're going to do some raising of awareness. We, Dustin and I had the opportunity to sit in a meeting, and I said, you know what? We got this thing going on, and we're going to announce what you guys are doing. And they all kind of looked at me like I was a little strange. It's like, well, we got to plan and raise money and stuff like that. I said, no, you don't. Just get out there and talk about it. And that's what we're doing. So this is the first public announcement of Hope and Marion raising awareness for families to become foster families. Consider adoption of our kids in Marion County. I saw a child. You see children. Do something about it. Amen.